What is happening guys, Danny Feng here and I am in the middle of nowhere. Actually the place where I'm at at the moment is called, I don't know how to pronounce it properly but I think it's pronounced Barcelonette, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, in France. So that's where I am at the moment uh, while vlogging this, this little video. So yeah, I came down here to film an amazing band called Raccoon Raccoon, which I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you wanna go check them out. Uh, we're basically here to shoot a couple of live sessions with them. And uh, yeah, it's all uh, all good. So yeah, they're kind enough to host me at their place, which is uh, this amazing house of theirs in the middle of nowhere, like all mountains and things. And it's just so beautiful over here. Might take you guys out for a little tour, maybe in a bit or something while I do this little vlog. So I have a little bit of downtime right now. So I thought just to make this video and uh, share with you guys what I have in my backpack. I thought that might be interesting. Some people have been um, asking me what is it that I have inside my camera backpack. So let's go. Right here is my backpack. This is my main camera backpack. Actually, everything that is related to my production is all in one backpack. I like to keep things simple, things really minimalistic and just to get the job done basically. <laughs> so yeah, the backpack that I have is by Lower Pro. So I think you can see it over here, Lower Pro. And this particular model is the Pro Tactic BP450. AW2, if you guys can see it. So yeah, it's right there. This is the model that I have. This is a great backpack, super comfortable and great for your back, especially when you're um, either hiking or just, uh, yeah, just generally, just, just traveling. It's, you gotta keep your back safe. With this strap thing as well, it's pretty awesome that you can just wrap around you so uh, you don't bust your back. So in here, this is how I divided my compartments. So over here, Oh, no, actually, let's start from here. This is where my main camera goes and uh, usually has my lens on it as well. The main camera that I have is the GH5 and it sits over here with my Sigma 18 to 35 millimeters, which is actually the camera that I'm filming on right now. That's why it's not over here. And right here, all my filters, memory cards, memory cards and uh, batteries would sit over here. At the moment, they're charging in the other room, but the batteries will sit over here. Um, some filters, I have the... Tiffin variable filter, uh, 82 millimeter, 77 millimeter, and black promist filters, the one fourth, which is not over here the case, which is strange. So yeah, and then over here, actually this compartment is usually where my uh, microphone would sit. The one that I'm actually using right now, which is the Rode uh, Video Pro mic, and that would just sit over here. At the moment, I have this with me as for backup. This is the GH4, my old GH4. I don't really use this anymore, but I just have this in my backpack just for backup. You know the saying, one is none, two is one. So always have an extra camera if possible. And if you do upgrade into a new camera, always keep your old camera. It's always good to have a backup. It doesn't matter um, if the footage is garbage or something or, the or your old camera is not as great as the newer one, like for example, the GH5. It is still a camera and you, and you can always use it for last resort. So always keep your old camera. Um, here would actually be the compartment where I put my strap and also where my camera cage uh, would go in the side handle, the top handle, the rails. Actually, no, the rails will go in here, but over here, just basically all those accessories and the base plate as well. So that goes over here. Rails will actually just go uh, in this compartment over here, which is where the laptop is. So I just put it together with the laptop. Here is where my seven inch monitor would sit. Some HDMI cables. The monitor that I'm using at the moment is the Free World 7 inch, which uh, I have the cage and the monitor set up in the other room. I'll take you guys over there in a bit. Uh, here is just accessory things, you know, like cleaning things. Uh, what other things are in here? Um, let's have a look. Yeah, lens cleaning things and tools to remove uh, things, tighten things and whatnot. Here's where I put my chargers and lens caps and cables for the charger. Goes into the little compartment. Here's my other lens. With This is the 24 to 70 Sigma lens. So this is something that I don't use as much as I wanted to. But I love this lens. But uh, I still prefer the 18 to 35 just because for run and gun, it covers everything that I need. But this one, it's great for tight shots because this can go from 24 all the way to 70 and it looks fabulous. But yeah, there's that. The only thing I don't like about this is that when, it op when it's wide open, it's very, very soft for my liking. So I might just stop down a little bit just to get a little bit more sharp. I mean, just generally this lens is not super duper sharp compared to this one. 
Um, I would have loved to get the Canon 24 to 70. That lens is super sharp. But uh, maybe, maybe sometime in the future. I'm not really sure. But for now, this is what I got. It's affordable. Um, it's a little bit more affordable than the Canon one anyway, so and it gets the job done, so there's that. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for, for my backpack. Here there's a little compartment where I would just put like either my passport or my wallet or if I'm not traveling, that's where I put my, just my little like accessories like headphones and um, I don't know, like the, the coal sheet or something, you know, I'll just put it all in here, just tuck it in there. This by the way over here of the backpack is really, really cool. It's basically just two little compartments here where you can zip and put your stuff in here. And it's really cool that you can also tuck in these things so it doesn't scratch your equipment. So you can just tuck it away. That's pretty cool. Laptop goes in here which I think maximum you can fit like a like a 15 inch laptop or something. So yeah, we're gonna move to the bedroom now so I can show you the camera cage that I have. Okay, we're back in the bedroom. So this is it. Oh, here's a lens cap, all right. It's for my 18 to 35. All right, so this is it. This is my cage, super, super simple. Nothing too fancy. So it's basically, if I just pick it up so you guys can see it, it says, there's my monitor, the, seven inch uh, field world, is it called field world? Yeah, field world, ultra bright. So it's great to shoot if I am under the sun, I can still see what I'm uh, framing. And then the cage is basically just, just this, nothing too, nothing too crazy. I have the rails. Oh wait, it's a little dark, this is really annoying. The thing is I don't want to open up the aperture too much, otherwise I have to start pulling focus and everything just gets super blurry. Anyway, so I have the rails over there, which are rails. I don't know the brand actually, I mean, they might just be Amazon ones. I had this for many years now, so I just use these rails and uh, I never really got new ones. But anyway, base plate, this guy here by Small Rig. So I just mount these rails under there. It's, uh, the rails actually don't really do much. The only thing I do is as a area where I can just hold hold over here and pull focus like this. It's just something to uh, to support my hand while I'm filming. Um, it, I don't really mount anything else on it, to be honest. So there's also the cage as well. This is by, Sm uh, not Small Rig, by Rigland. So this is by Rigland. If you guys want to go check it out, I'll put all this in the description below so you guys can go check it out. But this is by Rigland. And up here is a Small Rig top handle. I have the, I have the version where you have to screw it onto the cheese plate. I don't like the one where it has the, what is it called? Uh, um, I forgot the name, remind me. Just put it in the, in the comments below, but it's basically the ones that you can slide it in and then you can just like tighten it. I don't really like those ones just because I don't feel like it's that secure. I had a friend who basically was using one of those and it was a little bit loose and his whole rig almost fell down. So I'm very paranoid with that. So I prefer to screw it in over here. So uh, it's super, super secure. This is by Small Rig as well, the monitor. Um, I say the monitor clamp side handle. This is by uh, Rigland as well, and that's it. Super, super easy, super simple. Really, really, um, really compact, and uh, that's pretty much it. Nothing too, too cray cray. This is where I am. I am in the middle of nowhere in France. Let's go explore, Dogo. what's happening around here. It's so beautiful over here. Look at that. I think it's a little difficult to kind of explain to you guys how, how crazy this place is. The camera doesn't really justify it. Hey, what are you doing? Poor dog ate poop the other day. Let's go down here. Let's see what's happening. Some sheep's. So beautiful. There's mountains over there. Hey, what's going on? Please don't eat random things. I am responsible for it. You just ate poop again. Why did you eat poop? Hmm? You like eating poopies? Alright. Come on, let's go. 
and see what's up up there. Pretty crazy. Look at that. I find it very hard to kind of vlog and talk at the same time and be present here as well. Okay, relax, Dogo. Car over there. I don't know what really to say, I mean, I just wanted to make a little video over here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what's really funny? Wait, hold on, let me just adjust it. You know what's really funny? I don't actually vlog. This, like on my channel, if you notice, like there's almost like no vlog videos. I used to, I don't do it anymore just because it's not really my thing. So uh, doing this video actually <laughs> took longer than I expected and it's very fiddly. I don't know how people vlog, it's insane. So anyway, as you can see, like the equipment that I own is not like a lot technically. A lot of the things that I have is just things I, that are just necessary, or things that I just need to make my workflow fast, efficient, and still deliver uh, high valuable productions. And that's basically my thesis for, for, for my work. I, I don't want to have like so many things on my camera. I don't want to think about the technical side of stuff. The less, the better. I'm, I think I'm very like a minimalistic person when it comes to this stuff. I just like to be in the moment with the person, with the artist, with whoever it is that I'm filming and just actually have a be able to film and have a conversation with them. So kind of camera operator and being a director as well. So I don't want to have too many variables happening on my camera. So that's why I keep everything very, very um, simple. And that's just me. I just prefer it like that. Personally, if I want to upgrade to something, it has to add not only value to my production, but also it has to not be in the way it has to work seamlessly you can't just break down on me and stuff like that so and that's what that's partly why i've been shooting on the gh5 and been hesitant to just upgrade because it's just been such a workhorse and it hasn't broken down on me it hasn't failed on me in, in in any way it just works and it just gets the job done i don't have to think about uh whether um the conditions might affect it or it might stop or blah 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 blah, blah. and yeah that's why i keep my um gears quite Minimal. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the the video. I hope you guys found this video helpful in some way. All the all the equipments and things that I shared in the video, I'm gonna put it all in the description below. This video is not sponsored by anyone or not or any of these brands. It's all just my own opinion. I'm not getting paid to say any of these things as well. You know, no one sent me anything free for these things. It's just like. I got these things and they're so useful, it helps me and so yeah, and I wanted to share what I have with you guys so hopefully the stuff that I share with you uh, helps you guys in some way or form. But yeah, as usual, if you have any questions, just drop it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So until then, keep on creating, keep on inspiring. <laughs>